All right, we're here in the Airstream with Missy Higgins. Welcome. Thanks. Um, I, one thing that fascinates me about you is I think you're 28, 29 years old, and then this new record you've made has been referenced more than once as a comeback record. So how does <laughs> yeah. someone as young as you have a comeback situation? Um, I guess because I... Um, secretly kind of quit music um, and I've been away from the music scene for quite a while. I've already had, yeah, I had two albums out um, I guess in in the early to mid 2000s and um, yeah, then I kind of, I got a bit burnt out I guess and and also had a bit of an existential crisis. (laughs) I kind of just started um, questioning what I was doing and um, needed to find more meaning I guess, in something. So. Did you find it? <laughs> uh, or what was the most prolific thing you found? That, was there an aha moment? No. I mean, there was lots of aha moments, but then, you know, that was quickly followed by a, another moment of, who am I? <laughs> um, it was pretty... It was a pretty um, tumultuous kind of emotional time. Um but I think I had to go through that in order to make my way back to music in a, a natural way. I think I just had to go and... and, and um, what did you do? enjoy doing most during that time? Um, well, I went to university, which was really great um, and just interesting because I'd never done it before. It was one of those rites of passages that I'd, I'd, I'd never um, experienced, so I wanted to do that. Um, and I lived in a share house with a whole lot of my friends, which I'd never done because um, I'd, you know, been touring pretty much since I left high school. Uh, and I, yeah, I also did a bit, a little bit of traveling that didn't involve touring, which was great. But mostly, I mean, the thing that I enjoyed the most was just staying put, like just staying in my hometown, yeah. which is the thing that really grounds me and being with my family and friends on a regular basis. And being on the road is the complete opposite of that. Yeah, it's an I mean, extreme. I love. I honestly love being on the road too. But it's it's interesting. You've got to find the balance, and sometimes it takes a while to figure out. Not long ago, you tweeted out, "I want to start an all girl band. Who's in?" Did you get any replies? <laughs> I did. I got lots of replies. I really do want to start an all girl band. Why? Um, I don't know. Well, this tour that I'm doing at the moment is with Butterfly Boucher and Katie Herzig. Butterfly's been playing bass for me for a while um, and Katie's a good friend and I collaborated with both of them and it was just so much fun and I've got um, I've, I've got some good friends who are females and also musicians and there's just, um, I don't know, I've always toured with guys and I just thought, you know what, I need a bit of estrogen on this tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really different vibe and um, I don't know, I think it would be a really nice change. You know, as I listened to your new record, there were there were a couple songs, and I'm like, wow, this maybe she spent so much time in America that she's got this country flavor to her mm. music now. And then I found out you made your record in Nashville, and I go, aha, really? Maybe that you think has it's got a country to, flavor? A little bit, yeah. very mild, very mild. But yeah. I wondered if that's because it was made in Nashville, or because you've spent so much time here touring, or um, I don't know. In all honesty, I think. Uh my last two albums have also had that kind of country flair, like just the occasional, like, you know, acoustic alt country kind of influence. Because, I, you know, I, I listen to a lot of that kind of music. I, I love Gillian Welsh and Ryan Adams and, you know, that kind of um, genre. So, um, and Patty Griffin is one of my favourite artists. So I think that definitely comes out in the music. I, I'm not sure that being in Nashville actually had an influence um, like that on the record. It definitely had an influence, but I don't think it was a country influence because the people I worked with were not at all involved in the country music scene. Um, But there was, um, on the other hand, a really kind of creative kind of scene that I fell into in in Nashville and there were some sounds going on that kind of influenced the record and, and the people that played on the record um, were very kind of creative and, um, yeah, and very melodic in their thinking. And I think that, that definitely played a part in creating the sound. 
Okay. And uh, one last thing here that might be kind of fun. Uh, you once said, you know, like when you listen to rec songs you recorded when you were 15 years old, you started very early. It makes you cringe. Yeah. Is there, I mean, you've been at it a long time and that's a very young age to do this. Is there anything about the young you that also makes you cringe? It's kind of a um, how have I grown sort of question. Yeah. I mean, what do you mean musically or personally? Personally. <laughs> Oh, God, yeah, probably. I mean, I look back at um, even, like, the the, <laughs> the guys that I dated back then and I'm like, oh, God, thank God I um, I moved past that time in my life. And um, and I, like, I've, I've got videos that I used to make with my friends of us, you know, pretending that we were adults and and smoking cigarettes for the first time and you know thinking that it was romantic and artistic and um I look back on it now and I just go gosh you were so unsure of who you were back then as everyone was like it's just it's kind of kind of a cringy time in your life to look back on and I see I see people that age now and I go god it's just um I don't envy them you know it's just such a difficult time in your life you you just uh you're really trying to figure out who you are and what your place is in the world so i'm um, yeah i'm very very glad to have moved past that for many reasons well thanks for coming in no it's worries good talking to you. thanks for having me